Hello there and welcome to the Bicycle Diaries. It's Friday morning and it's stage four of the Tour de Zwift. So after a shower, a quick sticky bun and a chance to calm down, I can now reflect on today's ride. And to be honest, it wasn't anywhere near as difficult as I was expecting. Um, my first mistake was thinking that I was going to be riding on the Innsbruck course, which is just one long climb. Um, but it turns out that I was riding in Watopia on the volcano course that I've done quite a few times before. Now, yes, there was a climb in there, um, but it wasn't anything major. It was about three kilometers long and the last 500 meters were at 10%. Now I know Zwift is virtual, but it does slow my bike down when it comes to a climb. So for instance, if I'm riding in real life at 30 kilometers an hour, it will slow me down to maybe 10 kilometers an hour in the game. Uh, and then it takes me that bit longer to climb up the mountain. Now the downside of having an easy day today is that uh, I will have to do the, the, the monster climb that I saw in the preview uh, a couple of days ago on YouTube. Uh, and according to Matt Stevens, who was giving the preview, he said it was between an hour and an hour and a half of climbing. And that sounds like it's really going to hurt. on a ride the day after doing the uh, stage four of the Tour de Zwift probably isn't a good idea particularly uh, when you uh, factor in the route that I'm doing today but uh, I felt quite recovered I quite fancied it so uh, so why not morning today's route is about 30 kilometers um, it's what I call my Bevis's thumb route. It's not uh, desperately challenging, but uh, there are a couple of longish climbs in there which should uh, really test my legs. But I'm not going to go mad, I'm just going to take it easy. This part of Hampshire and West Sussex is uh, uh, in the heart of the South Downs and it's very popular with cyclists due to uh, very quiet lanes Hello. morning and uh, just stunning countryside so this Bevis's thumb route we're doing is uh, uh, starts very shortly and there's a, a climb past an old archaeological site it's a, an Iron Age burial mound called Bevis's thumb and it's about a three kilometre climb with an average of about 4%.
made it to the top of today's second climb and this is going to be the hardest one so I'm glad it's over. It's basically uh, up from the village of Compton in West Sussex to the top of Harting Hill and Harting Hill is one of the ridges along the South Downs and I, I mentioned these earlier and they're, they're a stretch of hills uh, in an area of uh, official sort of outstanding natural beauty and they stretch all the way from Winchester in the west over to a place called Eastbourne uh, in the east so that's about 70 miles I think uh, and many mountain bikers ride it as a, a trail along there uh, and also walkers do it as well so from here I'm just going to turn back on myself and ride back down this main road. I'm not going to turn off and go back over Bevis' Thumb like I would normally. I'll carry on uh, down the hill uh, and then it's pretty much uh, a complete downhill run all the way to a place called Westbourne and then I'll start climbing back home again. happened to the light today but uh, it's about 12 o'clock and it's uh, pretty overcast and dark so uh, I'm glad I got my lights today So 40 kilometers done and I have to admit I found that a little bit hard so um, yeah uh, I think I probably need a little bit of a rest so the next few days that's exactly what I'm going to be doing until uh, stage five of the Tour de Zwift. Thanks for watching.